So I just want to show you my new pump system. This is a solar powered pump system that is going to keep my ponds, uh, a big pond, that's about half full right now, and my little pond, about 50 feet across. What I'm doing, what I install this for, really the only reason I installed this pump, and this is from RPS uh, Solar Pumps, I installed it to keep my, uh, my ponds full. My reasoning, my rationalization behind it is I could spend thousands of dollars trying to seal the bottom of my, of my pond, but to go in there and to, to reline the bottom of the pond with clay or with bentonite or with dammit or with um, uh, the, uh, the polymer I used uh, the first time, a thousand dollars worth, uh, it would just cost multiple thousands of dollars, multiple thousands of dollars. So I opted to do this and I'm, you know, I won't know anything until summer uh, because typically in the wintertime the ponds stay up, stay full or, you know, reasonably full. And uh, I'm going to use this to top them off for right now. And, you know, but I, I haven't, I've cranked it up one time when I first put it in just to make sure it's working before my help left. I uh, got my son-in-law, my grandson to help me drop it in the hole, uh, put, put the solar uh, panels up myself. Uh, it's adjustable. It's got a, it'll just down straight up and down 90 degrees or it'll go up to zero degrees, which is uh, completely flat. My latitude uh, this time of year uh, calls for about 26 degrees, something like that. So that's what I've got it set on. But I like the fact that this will tilt down. So you just unscrew this bolt on this side, another bolt on the other side, and it just tilts down. And it's just, it's really, you know, quite easy to do and handy. And this, this whole system, the rack system was well, well thought out. Uh, uh, and then you come in here after you get your panels in, you come in here and string all your wires together, uh, tie wrap them up. The controller has the MC4 connectors coming out of it. So all you do is plug those in, wait for either a cloudy day, cover up your panels or something. You don't want them really hot. I mean, in other words, you don't want them running through a lot of electricity when you plug into here. Cover up your panels uh, when you connect up to the controller. Just, you know, just so you don't have an arc or a spark or something like that. And I've already done all that. And I, like I said, I tested the pump in a, in a bucket of water just to make sure the pump was working and, and the, the controller was working, everything like that, long before we, uh, we spliced the wires, hooked it up, dropped it down the hole. So we've done that. I turned it on. As soon as we dropped it down the hole, I turned it on and water came up. But what I have not done is test my plumbing here. And I'll just show you what I've done. Now this uh, laying here is just for testing purposes. Uh, I've got my uh, flexible conduit ordered. Should be here tomorrow. And then we'll run it underground and come up the pole and come up to the uh, controller. So this is what I've done. I've, I want to go two different places. I want to go, this one goes to my small pond, which is directly behind me. This one goes to my big pond, which is about oh, 50, 100 yards that way. So, and I've got, I wanted to put in a spigot, a faucet, so I just did that. Now, the way it came to me was with this um, that hooks onto your drop pipe, to your nipple. I've got a nipple here that goes in the black pipe, a one inch black pipe. This is all inch and a half, comes up, and it, I thought it had a T, uh, I thought it came up to a T, so I was planning on doing this, you know, with a T, but it didn't. It came up with, with a, an, a, an outlet here and an outlet on the side, which, you know, I'm kind of glad it worked out that way uh, because I was able to put this faucet in there. I was kind of wondering how I was going to put a faucet in it, so it's perfect for a little faucet. Uh, and then also come up here and tee off. I've got two shutoff valves. Uh, I can shut off the water to the little pond if it's full and just pump on to the big pond. So I like that or vice versa. Uh, you don't ever want to shut everything off and leave your pump running because then the pump is, is pushing water up and there's nowhere for it to go and it can burn your pump out. So all, at all times have either turned off or have uh, you know one of your, one of your uh, uh, valves open where it can pump. I also am a very big fan of unions. That's what this is. That is a union. I can unscrew this and take, unscrew this one and this one. I've got two unions here and here, and I can unscrew those two things and take this off. And then I can work on this if I need to splice that or re-glue re it, or if I need to take that, that uh, shut off valve off, whatever. I can do that by taking this union off. So I love unions. I use them on all my uh, well uh, type plumbing. Uh, I did on the other pump, on the other well plumbing. Uh, that's the old tank that came out, had a 220 pump in here. 
uh, with the 220 box over there and that's that's the way we pumped water but now we're solar and we are loving it so we're gonna fix it and crank it up for the very first time as far as the plumbing and we're hopefully we don't have any leaks so today fairly sunny still cloudy but fairly sunny and I think we're gonna get uh, uh, plenty of uh, sunlight to pump this up so let's turn this on it should say power And then after a few seconds, the pump will come on. Pump light will come on. And then we'll come over here. It takes several seconds. The pump is set at 100 feet. It takes several seconds for the pump to, uh, you know, push the water all the way up. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. I've got the faucet open. I've got both of these valves open, so it should be going three different ways. All right, I'll shut that one. So we know it's working. So this is my big pond. There's the pipe. That's what we're getting on a cloudy day. And that's a lot. They say at my depth it should pump around 16 gallons per minute. Well, the, the 220 pump was only pumping 13 gallons a minute. So if I can get close to that, we're fine. It does several things. It warms up the water. Water's gonna be about 55 degrees. It's gonna warm the water up as it comes across these stones. Uh, in the summer, even, even in the winter, and it'll also oxygenate the water. Water coming out of a pump doesn't have a lot of oxygen in it. It's, you know, that water is 100 feet down. So it doesn't have a lot of oxygen, so running across these stones and bubbling and bouncing and, and making bubbles, uh, that is going to, uh, that's going to oxygenate the water, which is excellent for the fish. They really need that. So uh, I'll, I'll do another video when I get this exactly like I want it, and you can hear the, the water coming over it. But right now I'm just excited about my uh, purchase from RPS Pumps. I'll tell you a little bit more about the price uh, in just a second and uh, what it cost me. They, they just have exceeded my expectations in, in the ease of putting it in and uh, what it's producing. Um, I really like it. Let's go back up to the pump and I'll tell you more. So now we should be getting quite a bit of water. We were sharing water with the other, uh, with the other pond. And now let me lift that up. Maybe you can see a little better. Nice stream of water. That's, uh, I don't think that's much less than my 220 was running. And again, we're on a, a cloudy day. There's, uh, it's, it's pretty cloudy up there. Uh, so in the summertime, when that sun is beating down on Texas, uh, Man, that thing ought to be running to beat the band. So I'm going to leave this running for the little pond. Uh, I don't know whether you can tell. Well, this is the shoreline right here. So it's it's down at least a foot and a half. And uh, the next couple of days, it should fill that up. It takes 24 hours, 48 hours, something like that, to fill it up from this point. With the other pump, I haven't done it with this pump yet, but it should be about the same thing. Well, no, it's not because this one's not going to run at night. The other one ran 24-7. So it would take, you know, twice, three times as long because this one's only going to run eight hours a day in, you know, in a little more than that in good sun, summer sun, but not this time of year. What I'm, what's going on, the MPPT light's coming on and off and that's when it's getting a little, it's not getting full sun. It's getting, you know, it's got some cloudy, uh, cloudiness to it. Uh, but for right now, it's just letting you know, we got a, we got a cloudy day, which we do. We knew that, we knew that going in. So let me explain a little bit about cost. These were on sale, and I think they're still on sale. Um, and uh, the one I got was for a, a 200 foot pump because I planned on going down 100. I planned on setting my pump at 140, which is where the other pump was. And when the whale company came out and pulled my old pump, uh, he said, man, I just hang it at 100 feet. You got plenty of water. You're never gonna run out. Don't worry about it. And even if, you, even if I did, this pump comes with a low well sensor. About uh, a foot, foot and a half away from the pump, there's a little sensor that when the, if the water were to go down uh, and come out of that sensor, it will turn the pump off, so you're not gonna burn your pump up. So if you wanna pump to a tank, it's got a, what's called a full tank sensor that you put in the, in the tank, and when the tank fills up all the way, it hits the sensor and it turns off. I'm not using a tank, so I didn't use that sensor, but I kept it just in case I ever, uh, you know, used a tank. But, uh, these were on sale 
I bought the 800V, which is a V stands for volume. It's got more volume than the regular 800 uh, series. You've got a 400 and an 800. The only difference, if I understand right, and I'm not an expert on this, but if I understand right, the only difference between the 400 and the 800 kit is the 800 comes with eight solar panels and the 400 comes with four. Uh, the more solar panels, the more uh, voltage, uh, the more water you pump. So I got the 800V happy with it they've got uh, a pro series uh, 800 pro i think and they've got they've got tons and tons of stuff um, i'm going to become a, an associate of theirs uh, i don't have my my code yet but hopefully we can get y'all a discount on this and uh, i'll certainly tell you tell you more when that happens but for right now this cost me about 35 for everything i would have spent twice that Relining my pond with clay, bringing in loads and loads and loads and loads of clay, you know, tons and tons of clay. Dozer down there spreading it out, packing it out, and still no guarantee that it was going to seal the pond. And for my pond, I don't have any, unless I get a rain, I don't, I don't have any water coming in the pond. Uh, so it's all runoff. Most of y'all probably have ponds that are all runoff. If you've got a spring-fed pond or a creek-fed pond, Bless your heart. That you have you stumbled on a gold mine. That's the good stuff there. I don't have that. So uh, even if I line the bottom of the pond, you're still going to have cows drinking out of it. You're going to have evaporation. You're going to have all this, the, all the, uh, the problems. Uh, it's going to go down. And so this will keep the pond up. If it does not, if in the summertime, if I see there's enough seepage and enough evaporation and cows and such uh, livestock drinking out of it that it's not that this pump is not going to keep the pond up running during the daytime then what i'll do i'm going to keep my little uh, shed here my little uh, well house i took the top off to i got to put the top back on it there's the there's the metal laying there but i'm going to keep the well house and what i'll do i'll just put uh, some 48 volt batteries down in here and I'll be able to, to run it at night too. So, you know, it's always an option to do that. So about 35, and that includes all the panels. That includes, the, the only thing I bought was the pole, and my neighbor gave me that, didn't even buy that. Um, the plumbing, you know, I had to do all the plumbing and stuff. Uh, it came with the pipe. It's got a, a 200, came, this one, for 35, it came with 200 feet of downpipe. This one would have cost me, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven hundred dollars less had I not opted for the deeper, deeper setting of the pump. I wish I had them now, but at the time I didn't know. I thought I was going to go down 140. So $3,500 will get you down about 200 uh, feet. Again, these were on sale about 40% off. So, uh, it, it, you know, there might not always be that, but that's what I paid on it. And look for sales. They will definitely have them. Uh, call one of the salesmen and see, see what you can get going. Be sure and mention me, TP2, uh, that I sent you and uh, might get you a little discount and might get me a little stipend on the end of it also. Uh, but that's what I paid about 35 for just about, I can't think of anything else that I, it comes with a rope, that safety rope. It comes with a sensor wire and sens two sensors and sensor wire. It even came with extra sensor wire. Uh, it came with everything. The uh, only thing it didn't, uh, this is, you know, kind of expensive. These were $35 a piece. So nothing to sneeze at. Those, those unions are 8 or $10. So, you know, I, I spent a little bit of extra money on it. But I tell you what, to have water pumping right now, and I'm not burning any electricity at all because God is putting some sunlight on them panels now, and it's cooking. And even, even with this amount of sunlight, which I think is pretty dang good right now, and the water's flowing pretty dang good, uh, even with this, the, the MPPT light is still coming on, so it's still not full sunlight. Uh, so I, I'm just excited about it. Man, I, maybe you can tell that. This is me being happy. I'm happy. So I hope you got something out of this that you will visit RPS Solar and see the value of doing it this way. Uh, I see so many people, and I've did it too. I've got, I've got vid, three or four videos on sealing the pond and how to seal the pond. And I just gave up on it because it's just too dang expensive and it just doesn't work. And if you don't have a, a flow, if you don't have a creek or a spring or something 
then you're just gonna drive in the summertime anyway. Maybe not drive completely, but you're gonna you're gonna go way down. So something like this for the same amount of money as you would bring in a a dump truck in on a very small pond on a big pond like I've got would would cost me multiple times what this costs. This is going to be some of the best money I ever spent. Uh, I, there's nothing worse on my property because my property, I really think my property is just real attractive, but looking down from the house on a pond that in the summertime, it's just a mud hole. I mean, it's it's got very little water in it. And sometimes, I mean, it has gone dry, real dry. Um, but now, hopefully this summer, uh, if we get plenty of sun and, and you know, don't have too much evaporation and such, I'll be able to keep it at least where it is. That's, that's about, that's over half full. That's maybe three quarter full. Uh, at least where it is, where it's attractive right now. You know, I was having to keep fish alive from that 220 well, uh, 220 volt deep well pump. So uh, I'm excited about being able to keep the fish alive with, uh, with sunshine, with sunshine. Let the sun work for you. I'm all about this. And I am tickled, maybe you can tell, I am quite, quite tickled about this. Been a long project, been thinking about it for about two months. Pricing, uh, t talking to them about which one I should use, uh, which pump I should get, and um, they've got, man, they got people that know what they're talking about, uh, and just extremely helpful. I didn't show the video of of installing it, anything like that, uh, because they've got such great videos on their website, on their YouTube channel, and there's just no sense on me doubling up on that. Anyway, guess what, folks? I got water. I hope it helps somebody make a decision about keeping your ponds full and not going the route of, of, um, sealing a pond and bringing in this and that and heavy equipment for this and that. If you can get it to where it will hold water reasonably well, uh, just get you a solar pump. Man, oh man, I like it. RPS solar pumps, I'll have all, all the links below and soon we'll have an associate link and I'll have that below too. So go there and look around, use my link if you will, and uh, to RPS solar pumps. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we're gone.